Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to episode 20 of our top 5 PvP battles. If you guys want to send your clips in to be featured in the top 5, you can send it in to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. Without further ado, guys, we have got Bull Bull and his friend coming in at number 5. And I say his friend because I cannot pronounce that name. But as you guys can see, they have got a lot of red on them, and Bull Bull is playing a Magicka Warden as well as his friend. And here you see he's going for that. That big deep fissure combo trying to get the birds on this guy and his friends just coming in behind there throwing him some friendly heals as well and there's just uh, more EP starting to show up here another EP comes in from behind there and Bull Bull's just gonna rotate his heals reset his buffs here go for his deep fissure and a lot of lag oh my gosh a lot of lag there but that's okay Nobody ends up going down to the leg, so they're just going to come back, kite around the corner. Now they've kind of got all the EP in one spot. Bulbul Bull goes for the deep fissure here, goes for the birds, tries to get a nice combo there, but takes a stun from an incoming Nightblade. And Bulbul Bull and his friend are just being forced into relentless pressure here. He goes for the ultimate, gets a lot of clearance on the group there, a nice deep fissure as well, but it's not enough to bring a player down. Big damage into that player there, but it's still not enough. The friendly player finishes off that red player. Great combination there between the two, and Bulbul Bull just kites back around the other side, getting back together with his friend. He's going to set his deep fissure, go for the lightning staff stun, gets another good coverage smack on the group, but he's forced into throwing his uh, ultimate it down here defensively for his friend great support from the wardens here helping each other out throwing each other not only the vine seal but the ultimate as well as the red chases friend around the corner bull bull gets a nice combo opening yet again but these are some pretty bulky red players and they've got a lot of healing power on them as well so uh bull bull and his friend they're gonna have to be patient to pick a nice big combo here finding this guy by himself getting him with the deep fissure into the birds oh my god he finds himself alone and is quickly brought down by Bull Bull. And uh, now there's just the big red group all bunched up on this side there. Here's the Northern Storm into the deep fissure. There's a huge smack on the front end of the group. Bringing down the first player there with the birds and continuing to put pressure. The second player going down to the deep fissure and the birds as well. And Bull Bull and his friend are holding the line here. Oh my gosh. And there we see again, they're loading up the deep fissures, a huge smack on the front end of the group, huge damage into that player there, but he's holding on with the block ultimate. Bull Bull goes for the healing trees to give them the healing support they need to stay in this position and keep the pressure on this player here, but oh my gosh, this guy just won't go down. Oh, Bull Bull is forced yet again with his friend to back up here. His friendly player, I think, goes for his uh, for his Northern Storm there. Bull Bull going in with the Deep Fissure on the Lightning Staff Stun, bringing down yet another red player here. And as they bring these red players, more and more are coming up the hill to replace the dead bodies. Bull using his defensive ultimate here as his friendly player retreats back into it as well. Good kite again to pull the red out to the side here. Catch this guy off guard with the stun. The deep fissure into the bird to finish him off. Nice combo there. And now Bull's just going to... Uh, pick a synchro target with his friend here. They hit the same guy, try to go for the stun, but the enemy player does a good job preventing the incoming stuns. The friendly player taking so much damage, he drops his healing alt. Bull comes right in behind to body block for his friend, casting him heals as well. And there's the deep fissure around the corner. He tries to get the stun, unfortunately taking a stun from the opposing player there, and they're forced back around this corner yet again. He resets his heals, throws the heals down on the friend again. A lot of great support from the vines on the warden here these guys are just doing a great job keeping each other alive when one of them gets pressured here we see yet again the and a friendly player takes a lot of pressure bull bull goes into his ultimate with the deep fissure to cover the retreat of the friendly player huge damage into that player there almost bringing him down i think it's just four ep left here Bull Bull still continuing to apply the pressure, has to retreat yet again back around the corner. We've got some nasty snipers in the back there as well. So he's just going to heal himself up and reset his combos here. We've got, I think, two EP left. Uh, one sniper in behind as well. Bull Bull and his friend putting huge damage into that first sniper in front there. And uh, just tanking out the sniper from behind him here, keeping his heals up keeping his projectile absorb up as well. Here we go for another deep fissure. The friendly player into the Northern Storm. They put a lot of pressure into this guy. I actually think his friendly player is running permafrost because they did get the stun there and they bring him down and Bull Bull just shrugged off the sniper in the back. 
Good stuff, guys. So coming in at number four this week, we have got Nernstorm on his Magicka Dragon Knight. And as you can see, he's just defending a resource here, but a lot of enemy players are coming at him as he heads towards the resource. He tried to attack the first player, but he's just going to retreat back behind the guards here, throw down his ice field, get the stun off right away, go into the leap, a savage takedown on the first player there. And Nernstorm going right away for the reset on the wings to make sure he doesn't take that incoming projectile damage turns to the player that's lower health on the flag there's the fossilized stun he just rolls out of the siege in time preventing himself from getting hit by that siege shot and turns right away to pressure the player on the flag here the the sork on the flags just pounding his shields and Nernstorm taking so much damage from the opposing players there, but he's dedicated for the kill, goes for the leap. There we see the whip, huge explosion to bring him down. And now Nernstorm's just going to reset his wings and go on top of this enemy Dragon Knight here. The fossilize into the dot, into the whips. So much damage, continuing to apply pressure and keep his wings up, getting great reflex on these guys. The opposing sort goes for a negate, which is a great call. However, uh, he does not stun or immobilize Nernstorm, so Nernstorm Storm just turns right away, puts the pressure on him, the whips into the leap, and this poor Sork just cannot keep up with the firepower. Oh my gosh, there's the deep breath into the whips, into the uh, into the synergy on the whip, bringing the Sork down, and another Sork comes back here, and uh, Nernstorm takes the unfortunate uh, stun there, but he just breaks it right away, goes into his wings to reflect those projectiles, and goes for a nasty leap on the Nightblade in the back. Oh my god, quickly bringing that guy down as another yellow player comes in here he resets the deep breath goes for the whip and the deep breath there's the stun into the whip so clean bringing that guy down and now nerdstorm has got the last player on the flag here hits him with that fossilize into the leap really clean and fast 1vx well done my man all right, guys, so coming in at number three this week, we have got T. Bois on the Stamina Sorcerer, and he's playing a really cool build. Look at that huge Dawnbreaker splash, trying to finish off that player there as he takes, uh, I think, just a ton of healing power from the healer there, and he's unable to get the kill there. But look at this build, man. He just quickly dots this guy up, goes for the Wrecking Blow on this guy here, can't get the Wrecking Blow, goes again. This guy actually blocks the Wrecking Blow. I think he's got CC immunity here, not getting that Wrecking Blow, but putting great damage into him, uh, and this guy's going for the Radiant Destruction. There's the Javelin. Tibois goes for the Streak to stay on top of him, redots him up right away. A lot of healing power coming from this Templar here, and uh, Tibois is just going to continue to swing the Wrecking Blows, and look at how easily he's tanking out this other player's damage, and it's just because of how much healing power. He's got 5k weapon damage with the Surge, so much healing power, bringing down that Templar with the Dawnbreaker there, and now he's just going to do a quick kite back inside as a bunch more uh, DC show up here, and he's just going to dot up the first guy that shows up at the door here however the guy is a little bit uh a little bit shy so t bois is just going to take his time be a little bit patient here come back inside and wait for these guys to follow him this guy's coming in with the resto heavy attack t bois gets stunned right away rolls through them goes for a heavy attack into the dawnbreaker massive splash oh my gosh so much damage there over 5k weapon damage and uh, bringing that player down going for the bash here a little slow on the bash almost gets it just at the last moment the guy gets the res there and t is just going to continue to apply pressure to the player that he just killed off the res this guy is getting so much healing power he got the healing alt from the templar and he goes for his resto alt too t just streaking through this group continuing to apply pressure massive dawn breaker smash oh my god finishing off not only the weaker player there but finishing off the other player as well two kills off the dawnbreaker and t is just going to run back out and dot up this guy go for the wrecking blow so much damage bringing down a third player there oh my gosh and now he's got just this tanky dragon knight left to go and t is just going to keep him dotted up and rotate the wrecking blows on him but unfortunately, this Dragonite is very, very tanky. Tibois taking a nasty snare there too. And the DK just uh, tanking it out. He's going for the Wrecking Blows too. But just look at how much damage he's doing to Tibois. Literally nothing. 
There's so much healing power coming off that surge. All he's got to do is just keep rotating on this DK here. Goes for more wrecking blows. Actually, great damage into the DK. A friendly Earthgore coming in, probably saving the day there. He goes for the Dawnbreaker on the DK, but it's not enough with that big Earthgore heal. And now Tibois is back in a tricky spot. He's got a lot of pressure on him, a big soul assault, but just look at that surge healing. Oh my gosh, this build is nuts. How much healing power does he have? And he's just tanking this easily out. Goes for a streak through these guys, gets a great stun off on them as well, and then comes right back on top of them to make sure to keep up his surge healing. This guy's going for the res. Tibois just going to streak through, deny the res with the bash there, and then go for a little bit of a kite here. Takes a nasty stun as the yellow continue to stay on top of him. Tibois now trying to kite these guys out. Almost nothing left in the tank. Takes a super nasty stun right into the streak. He doesn't have the resource to break it, but a great call on the streak there. Man Manages to get out of there, tries to get a heavy attack off as well, trying to bounce a few heavies, but these blue are relentless, continuing to stun him, and Tibwa just doing his best to dot these guys up with his blood craze, keep his healing power up, getting so much healing from his surge here, and now he's going to turn on the offensive here, trying to channel a few wrecking blows on these guys to get that big stun, gets a nice smack off on this Templar here, but it's not enough to get the stun there, and he's just going to continue to uh, to try to channel it on this guy. Guy. But the Templar's doing a great job hugging the stairs. So Tibois just resets his buffs here around the corner and he's going to reopen. There we see the dot on the Templar. Switch to the Great Sword, trying to get that wrecking blow yet again. And uh, goes for the dot again as the Templar purged the first dot there. Tibois just continuing to apply pressure to this Templar here. And the Templar continues to tank and tank, and the other blue player actually runs off and gets killed by some EP. And then, of course, the best part is Cyrodiil. We get a little bit of a friendship cast at the end of the fight after being uh, a very long and hard fight. Tibois decides, okay, the Templar is friend. The Templar doesn't want to fight anymore, and that is the end of that. All right, so coming in at number two this week, we have got Zidan on the Magicka Dragon Knight. And as you can see, there's just a, a blue werewolf that comes and pokes at him a little bit. Zidan's just gonna take his time here, dot the werewolf up a little as, oh my gosh, look at this. We got a lot of blue players coming on top of him. Zidan going for his resto alt and continuing to tank out with the wings on the Dragon Knight. The wings so important to make this getaway possible, giving him that snare immunity and the reflect such a great utility, and Zidan just doing a fantastic job uh, rotating the wings and his shield here. He uh, is uh, breaking the incoming stuns as they come, getting a lot of really good blocks as well, but uh, these guys are relentless. Oh my gosh, he's just taking an absolute smack. Gets another Resto Alt off there as well, continuing to flap the wings to keep that immunity up. Lots of dodge rolls as well. Really great kite, and just look at how many blue players are chasing him here. Oh my gosh, Zidan continuing to get Zerg down by these blues, pounding his shields, pounding the wings, makes it into the tower, and now he's got that long struggle to get up to the top, continuing to cycle his abilities here, managing to uh, make it to the top of the tower, very low Magicka, but back up to full health, and there we see that big leap, oh my gosh, huge damage with the whip there, jumps over top of these guys, taking a nasty fear from the Nightblade, but uh, he's just gonna turn right away, reset his shields, and then open up on this Nightblade, huge fossilize in the middle of his roll into the whips, tearing that Nightblade down, and now Zidane's just going to reset his wings here and focus on this player in the back. He ends up jumping off the edge. Zidane's going to turn and burn the Nightblade right next to him, takes the fear and breaks it, goes for the Fossilize into the leap. Look at that kill. Oh my gosh. So much damage on that kill there, and Zidane's just going to turn right to the next player. The Fossilize into the whips, bringing him down as well. He's got two more blue players. Another one falls off the edge, and Zidane just goes for the kill on this guy here huge damage on him as well and uh, the enemy the enemy soul assault coming in Zidane responding with the leap great block from the enemy player there to not take that deadly stun from the leap but Zidane's just applying too much pressure and finishes him off there and now he's killed everything inside and he's gonna work his way outside here the uh, first player here is just a little coy the enemy Nightblade opening with arrows but Zidane keeping his wings up very difficult for the Nightblade to engage with his bow takes a nasty gank from the Nightblade there and there we see Zidane go into the resto alt and now he's gonna turn 
turn and attack. Tries to go for the Nightblade there. Unfortunately, takes a nasty stun and is unable to as the Nightblade answers stealth, but gets him with the Fossilize as he comes out. Lots of dots on the Nightblade into the whips. Goes for his AoE armor there to pull the Nightblade out of stealth. Gets him with another Fossilize into that whip, bringing him down. But it's not over yet. Zidane's going to go and find the last player that was picking on him here. And there he finds the Templar. Dots this guy up. Gets him with a nasty fossilized. The whips into the leap. Into more whips. And the Templar is just struggling to stay alive as another blue player shows up here as well. Zidane quickly goes for the fossilized. Oh my gosh. Rips through that guy. Just 100 to 0 within two attacks. And Zidane's going to turn right back onto the Templar. The Templar purging away, throwing his runes down, trying to hold his house. He goes for a few dodge rolls there. And Zidane just continues to apply pressure. And those dodge rolls were not the best call. Is look, he's got no stamina left. Zidane just smacking him there. The Templar comes out of this stun into his healing ultimate. Really great call on his part to survive. But Zidane has got him fully dotted up. Fully rotated. There we see the stun into the leap, into more whips. The Templar can hardly keep up. He's literally just pounding Breath of Life in between his purges, trying to survive here. And Zidane is just absolutely smacking him. Another deadly fossilize in the dodge roll there. The Templar does not have the stamina to respond. What a fight. All right, guys. So coming in at number one, we have got Dragu X coming back on his Stamina Warden, and there you see he quickly brings down the first player on Siege here with his ultimate, and he's just going to turn right away, get behind the pillar to line of sight any blue players that want to attack. Really great LOS there, and just continue to apply pressure to these guys. This guy tries to go for the res, massive wrecking blow into the Executioner. What a clean roll cancel there. Gets a great stun off. Oh my god, the animation cancel on that Dawnbreaker. Absolutely shredding the player on Siege there. This guy here is trying to man the Siege. Dragu goes for the big pressure. The uh, Sork responds really well, so he just turns to this next target here. There we try. He tries to get the Wrecking Blow. This guy responds. There we see his Sork going for a res, and we've got the enemy Warden Ultimate. Dragu just responds by rolling behind the pillar, resetting his buffs here, and continuing to prevent these guys. Great bash into the Subterranean. Oh my god. And the Execute there, shredding that guy off the res. Massive Dawnbreaker Subterranean, and he follows it with more Wrecking Blows, lands another Subterranean Assault, finishing off another blue player, and this blue player continuing to try to res, but Dragu is not going to let it happen. He gets the bash there and turns right on to the next target. Look at how much damage he did off his subterranean assault. Dragu knows this guy's squishy, doesn't even go for the ultimate. Really clean kill there. Uh, nice little snappy animation cancel on the execute to bring him down, and now Dragu has just got this Sork left here as another blue player ends up coming. Huge damage on the Sork with the Dawnbreaker splash, but it's not enough to finish him off oh my god 11k execute following that uh that wrecking blow massive smack yet again and dragu is just cutting through these guys like butter this poor sork here is trying desperately to survive another blue player has come in and he's just watching the two blue players just watching the fight this guy goes for a res dragu's gonna bash that res preventing it and now he's got the two blue players to deal with and uh, he actually sped this part of the fight up that was him not me but he continues to fight these guys and prevent their reses here but these are very tanky players and dragu's just taking his time here making sure that they can't pick the bodies up but there we see look at that an 87k defense tick absolute madness and he catches this other player coming in oh my god a massive wrecking blow into the executioner subterranean bringing that guy down and now dragu just goes right back to fighting these guys this player commits to the res there we see the wrecking blow subterranean into the dawnbreaker and he finishes off that sork and now dragu has just got the last warden here to deal with and uh, this mag warden just uh, goes for his ultimate but dragu easily just tanks it out and continues to fight these guys he is keeping every single one of these bodies down continuing to apply pressure here wrecking blow into the dawnbreaker a lot of damage nearly finishing him off but this warden is just hanging on but he's one stun away from being done here and dragu brings it home so thank you guys so much for sending your clips in if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button if you're new here hit that subscribe button send your clips to christopher eso at hotmail.com 
And finally, guys, we've got links to everybody's channel down in the description, so everyone featured here today, go and check their channels out. And for the outro clip, guys, we have got Mr. Bull with that super nasty anti-gank. Look at that. A few seconds and everybody's dead. And finally, check out our sponsor, What The Fast. They give you better ping to your favorite games, and they're free to try for the first 14 days. So if you guys want to give them a shot, check out the link in the description below. Thank you guys again for tuning in, and I hope to see you again next time.